Now we're starting to get toward the end of our exercise here. Um, so I'm going to just add a couple more feature classes um, of the electrical infrastructure. Now before I want to do that, I, I want to look at um, the di different styles. One of the things you can do with InfraWorks is import your own models for infrastructure, physical infrastructure and uh, equipment and those kinds of things, buildings and so on. Now you can do that in one of two ways. If you already have uh, 3D Studio Max or other files, even CAD files of the equipment, you can export them for importation into InfraWorks. Um, or you can use the Recap um, online service, Recap 360, to photo stitch um, the, a piece of actual equipment in the field into a 3D model. That's a fantastic service. We'll talk about that in a couple of minutes. But let's grab poles and conductors to start. After we do add some styles that were uh, provided to me by my colleague at Autodesk, uh, Rick Johnston. Uh, thanks to him. He was kind enough to share work that he had already done. I, I was working on it and uh, found out that he had already done a lot of the work. Um, and it can be quite time consuming to take the styles that you have, you know, in 3D blocks, which actually come with AED or with the uh, RUS package, but to convert those into the ultimate target, the studio uh, 3D models, is a bit of work. So um, we can explain that to you offline if you want to know how to do it. Now it takes a few minutes, um, I cut that part out, you know, literally two minutes or so. Um, <clears throat> and then we have a new utilities tab uh, with some very specific vaults, transformer cans, handholds, uh, PM uh, pad mounted transformer boxes, more realistic distribution poles, uh, transmission towers, wind turbines, etc. Um, ultimately, as I said, you can grab anything you have in a 3D model and, with some work, convert it into something you can use within InfraWorks. And we'll be using this momentarily to style our poles, probably just with some standard uh, distribution poles. Now, the way you handle <coughs> connected infrastructure in InfraWorks is as a pipeline, regardless of whether it's an electric conductor or uh, a gas pipe or a water pipe. You basically call it uh, a pipeline, uh, and it is a pipeline for electricity. So this is a pipeline connector, the pole. Um, the rule style we're going to choose is from the 3D model of utilities. We're going to grab one of the new ones. And we're going to grab a two-arm transmission uh, standard distribution pole. We're going to try to assemble pieces of it um, later. Um, you'll see why in a moment. Um, but anyway, let's just go with that for now. And we want to set the height and so on. Now, these might actually be in the attributes um, set. Uh, they're not, I know, on this model, but you know, for the most part, some of them might actually have a size that you could use. Um, but we'll go with 35 uh, foot. Oops. A standard 35 foot pole <clears throat> and um, that's this that's the height sorry 35 foot pole and we'll make it about uh, eight inches uh, on the ground in size which is you know un entirely realistic um, okay so let's go with that let's um, clip the source, don't want to bring in everything, um, and let's go. And there you saw them come in, they look really pretty good. Um, there they are. Uh, they're all rotated the same way, you typically wouldn't want to do that. But you can see actually that they're, they're, that's actually what they have here, because that shadow 
is not the sh this is the shadow cast by the virtual sun. This is the shadow on the image of the actual pole. So uh, that's looking pretty good. Okay, now let's add conductors and do a similar exercise. So this is pipelines. We're going to choose a rule style of metal pipe. We're going to uh, give it a foot sized elevation offset of about uh, 28 feet, let's say. And we're going to say that it is about uh, just three inches or so. It'll pro that's probably a bit bigger than it is in reality, but for visualization purposes, uh, that's probably good. And let's put that as well. And there we have it. There's some nice conductors uh, on the pole runs. It would be nice. I mean, they're they're too high. Um, we'll fix that momentarily. But uh, right now they look a bit too high. But uh, you get the picture. It's starting to look uh, pretty darn good. Okay.